add-on desired. Welcome to Adult Solutions Current Affairs program. Let us try to discuss the important or relevant articles for the day. Informal sector to the fore. Now, what is this informal sector? What is formal sector? What is employment, unemployment? What are the different types of employments we have, sectors we have? So that finally, we will be discussing about all these things related to this article. Now, it's been almost one and a half year to two years. We are suffering due to the coronavirus. Now, as soon as the lockdown imposed, what happened? Most of the people from urban areas tend to heading towards the rural area. Now, here all what happened over a period of one year, what we understood was that most of the population of India has slipped into below poverty line from above poverty line due to this coronavirus, loss of employment and other economic activities. Now, who has lost this employment and what is the sectoral employment that is offering? What is the formal employment and informal employment? And then other type of like inflation and demand etc. other things will be discussing. What is an employment? Employment is the economic activity that is either you are full time or part time that you may be working. That you have work at least like three days per week or at least two days or more than two days a week if you have employment then that is a part time employment and if you have full time work then it is a full time employment or activity economic activity. Now what is a formal type of employment? Formal type of employment is you are working in an organization and you have sense of job security. and regular salaries allowances leaves etc every benefit is available pf gratitude everything is available for the people there is a guarantee of employment at least if you want to be terminated from the services, you will be given a notice at least of uh, three months. These all are the conditions of the formal employment. What are the type of formal employment? Government employment or working in a software firm as a software engineer or all the white collar employment and also even blue collar employment that is in a factory, etc, etc, etc. All the safeties and security nets are all there for the formal type of employment. And then what is informal type of employment? Informal type of employment is a type of employment where the first parameter job security is not there. This is a, daily, a kind of daily labor where you will be getting money for that day, that's all. And there is no job guarantee and security over a period of time. And you will not be allowed to entitle the leave allowance or any other kind of allowance along with any maybe medical facilities nothing is available for these people and along with that the employment or the labor or the wages are very much less compared to the formal employment sector now out of all the employment we have 80 percent of uh, work participation coming from the informal sector 80 percent of the labor force that is uh, informal what is this informal maybe like uh, working in construction sites or any other transport department where you are not having any sense of security and then maybe mechanic sheds or all the different kind of works where these are not registered under the any companies act and you are just working for them and this is completely an informal one along with that coupled with all the agricultural labor that is coming under the informal sector only out of this 80 percent 50 percent of it is agriculture labor and Another 25 percentage are coming from the non-agriculture but they are from the rural. So only of 25 percent of this 80 percent are in the urban and coming into non-formal sector or informal sector. Now how will these people will get affected? These people are contributing all, like all informal people or all informal employment activity is generating 50 percent of the GDP they are contributing to the 50 percent of the GDP now here what happened it used to be think that 
the formal sector and informal sector growth will be go hand in hand if the formal sector is doing well then the automatically informal sector will also be doing well this was a myth that used to be understood before corona but after corona what happened all the formal employment sector has not got affected almost in any way where their jobs are almost remained same but all the informal sector employment has gone so here they have badly affected and there were many people who lost their lives while they were on back to their villages and apart from that even in a rural area that are of non agriculture background or agriculture background these people are also safe as there is demand for the food whatever may be ha might have happened but uh, the demand for the food was there so the farm uh, like informal sector employees that are in the agriculture background has continued the same work and their income did not get affected drastically and along with that other people who are non agriculture dependent in the rural area are also having a safety net of mg nrega as we have already talked now under this every person who is able to do manual work who is willing to do the manual work shall be getting the employment in the rural area that is of a manual labor kind now due to this what happened this is a kind of sense of guarantee employment for at least 100 to 150 days in the rural areas so that rural population did not get affected badly but what happened all the informal sector employees like housemaid or maybe cleaner sweepers etc all these different people who are working in the urban that are contributing to 25% of informal employees are got affected and these people have faced the brunt of the situation badly and here we have understood that this is the area where we have to address the situation and we have to provide the urban employment scheme or urban social security schemes for the people who are working under the informal sector in urban areas the second thing is record surge exports help reduce cane dues that generally sugar cane dues will be there for the farmers this is quite general thing then let us try to come and understand where we will be producing sugar in our country and what is the climatic demand for the sugar type of soils that uh, sugar needs to be produced and how long this takes uh, the sugar crop now in our country we produce sugar in major two belts that are northern belt and the other is a plateau to southern belt these are the two areas where we are producing the sugar cane in these areas punjab uttar pradesh bihar are the one belt and then maharashtra karnataka telangana andhra pradesh tamil nadu is another belt that we produce the sugar cane now sugar cane how long this crop takes to grow at least 9 to 10 months it takes to grow this is a kharif crop what is mean by kharif crop kharif means crop season sowing season coincide with a june months and harvesting october or november this coincides with the monsoon of our country and the next cropping season is a rabi now here this is a sowing in the winters and harvesting post winters that is coming in the month of november or december is a sowing season and harvesting in the month of february or march and zaid is the third cropping season in our country this is only of two months time where the time frame in between april may that is in between rabi and the kharif where we will be producing legumes and other water kind of vegetables and the fruits like cucumber or maybe watermelon muskmelon these are the kind of things that we will be producing in the zaid season now what are the crops that are produced in the kharif season kharif season paddy
जूट कॉटन पल्सेस शुगर केन ऑल दीज आर दिंग्स दट आर प्रोड्यूस्ड इन द खरीफ एंड रबी सीजन इज अट एंड सोयाबीन अदर क्रॉप दट आर प्रोड्यूस्ड इन रबी सीजन वेर एज दिस शुगर केन नीड्स नाइन टू टेन मंथ्स ऑफ अ क्रॉप इन पीरियड इट नीड्स अ हाई टेम्परेचर दट इज रेंजिंग फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी डिग्रीज टू थर्टी थर्टी फाइव डिग्रीज वेर एज दैट टेम्परेचर्स आर नॉट पॉसिबल हियर इन दिस रीजन एंड दिस नीड्स फर्टाइल सॉइल्स विथ गुड अमाउंट ऑफ इरीगेशन आर अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ वाटर बट वेर एज यू हैव गुड अमाउंट ऑफ टेम्परेचर्स इन साउथ बट इट इज नॉट ऑफरिंग हियर इन द नॉर्थ वेर एज हियर इन द साउथ इट इज नॉट गैरेंटेड दट टू हैव द फर्टाइल सॉइल्स विथ coupled with the fertilizers and pesticides along with the water facility where here it is enormously available fertile soil along with the good amount of supply of water that is the reason why these people are producing the sugar cane though it is not a resident crop now here it is giving good good amount of sucrose in the sugar cane in south area but whereas the sucrose content in the northern region is very less compared to the southern region as this is not a like a traditional type of crop here in the north now due to this over exploitation of water and ground water table also depleting in the northern areas and along with that there is a huge socio economic imbalances are also causing here in the northern area because of the shift of the crops from southern areas to northern areas which also causing the ecological impact over the area now let us try to understand other topics that are relevant to this sugar cane sugar cane is having a huge base of employment that sugar crushers as this is a sugar cane harvested or sugar cane sown in the months of maybe may june time and which will be harvested in the months of maybe february march uh, this only two, two to four months of time where you will be having the crushing time now after this four months crushing time what happens all the mills has to shut their mills and this is a quite a seasonal type so the crushing crushers are quite expensive now here this is the one of the reason for the losses or non payment of uh, the bills to the farmers now sugar industry is uh, broadly distributed in two regions that is uttar pradesh and uh, southern part and south india has a tropical climate which is uh, suitable for higher sucrose content giving higher yield per unit area as compared to the north india the significance multiple linkages sugar is a labor intensive industry and also which is value chain from the cane growing sugar alcohol to many other products that are produced based on the sugar now source of employment sugar industry is source of livelihood for 50 million people in our country and this is also having multi dimensional usage as a by products the by products are sugar as the sugar cane is crushed what are the by product that comes out of is the sugar crusher is a bagasse now this bagasse can be used and molasses and bagasse can be used as a by products are inputs for some other industry and you can even make biodiesel from this where we have been emphasizing upon the biodiesel as recently the prime minister also has mentioned that we have to try to blend the biodiesel with the diesel so that we will be con uh, like controlling the usage or reducing the consumption of the fossil fuels for two purposes one is to reduce the cost and import bills and the other is climate impact for live livestock feeding molasses for from sugar cane is used for the alcohol production and also livestock feeding since it is hugely nutritious biofuel and bagasse are the other products that are of useful from the sugar industry where it is important and this is also relevant in the exam context as well this may be like uh, explain the unconventional areas of production of sugar cane and what are the reasons that may be of 10 marks question or may be like uh, among the north and south where do we find the more content of sucrose and good yield compared to two regions that is a prelims question possible now what are the problems that we have uncertain uh, production output there may be if the monsoon and other all conditions are good then production will be good if the production is good the mills will be having good work if the production is bad then the mills number of mills will get affected low yield of sugarcane 
Now, India yields per hectare is extremely low as compared to some other major countries, sugarcane countries that are example India's yield is 64 tons where compared to 90 tons in Java and 121 tons in Hawaii. And then short crushing season that is of only 4 to 7 months and rest of the year all the employees of the sugar, cane, sugar crushers and the crushers will be kept idle. This will be overhead cost extremely high. The next one is the Abraham Accords as a India's West Asia bridge. Now West Asia like Tropic of Cancer, Equator and Tropic of Capricorn. Now here we are here in India. Now all the area here Turkey, Saudi Arabia, Iran, Iraq these all are the areas that are called as West Asia. Now here we know that uh, there is a sea called Mediterranean Sea. This is Europe and along with this there is a country called Israel. Israel is uh, having support from USA. USA is having some good relation with some countries in West Asia and bad relations in some countries in West Asia. And we <coughs> being the import dependent nation for the fossil fuels that are of petroleum. 80% of our energy needs, 80% of our energy needs are met import basis. Now when they are met import basis, what is the source of our imports? West Asia is the source of our import and technologically agricultural technology and uh, missile technology all this technology that is giving good from the Israel and other sources are Venezuela and some parts of uh, Africa are the source of the imports for this uh, petroleum for our country. As we are uh, having such dependence from diversified countries let us go back to uh, where we have just born as our country in 1947 we have not aligned to with any group of the country. In the beginning, the, uh, like uh, right after the second world war, what happened? All the world has uh, grouped into two groups. One is with USA group and the other is uh, with USSR. Now, we right after independence have not uh, joined in any group and we have started non-alignment uh, non movement. Under this non-alignment movement, we have tried to be good with each and every country as and when it is needed. And from Israel, we have import technology and from West Asia, we completely dependent upon the oil resources such as from Iran and Iraq. And then here in this situation, it used to be very much like a rope walking for us. But recently, Israel has tended to move in good friendly relation with the Saudi Arabia where this has led to the breathtaking uh, like inst instance for our country and that is leading to better geopolitical situation and also strategic situation in the world phenomenon where the situation is uh, too bad in Afghanistan. So let us try to look into those areas, wait and watch so that what it will be leading to in very soon uh, like uh, in in a time that is to come. India's strategic play in West Asia will be reflective of its uh, economic growth and by association an increasingly important place in the global order. From the UN, United Nations Security Council to Indo-Pacific, New Delhi will be expected to be more assertive diplomatically and militarily in its uh, posturing and uh, shed the clocks of its foreign and strategic policies being conducted from a stage balanced on a fence. This should be a very balanced so that we will not be enemies to anybody and we will be friendly with each and everyone. There is another like Zaid Talwar naval exercise with which country? With UAE off the coast of the Abu Dhabi. Now this is a Gulf Coast. Now here this Gulf Coast is a extension to the Arabian Sea that is Indian Ocean only. Now here recently we have just uh, had a discussion as uh, our Prime Minister as the head in the IOR that is Maritime Security and with all these things now we are trying to withhold or we are trying to assert our position in the 
Indian Ocean region and geopolitics by Indian Navy orchestra the opera like Sankal. Operation Sankalp is the another thing where we have tried to show our prowess in the situation and it is a good sign that all the countries are getting closer so that there won't be any conflicts per se. So that leads to finally socio-economic development. So keep watching Adapt Solutions for the daily current affairs. Thank you. Add art solutions. Add on desires.